usually we try to have a little fun with first looks and give you kind of some insight in what we're thinking, but I think all of us here are pretty devastated by the story we just heard, um, a one-room Amish schoolhouse in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, a place I have visited many times because it is so bucolic and picturesque, was the site of just a, a horrifying scene, a 32-year-old truck driver who lives in the area who ironically first took his children to the to the uh, to the bus stop, then went to the school and and basically uh, took hostages, allowed the 15 boys between the ages of 13 and 16 to leave. There were something like 12 girls between the ages of 6 and 13, is that right, who had to stay in, in the school. He allowed some of the adult women with who were either pregnant or with small children to leave, and the teacher got out and dialed. 911, but basically he lined up all the little girls in front of the blackboard and tied their feet and then uh, called police and said that state troopers had to leave within 10 seconds and uh, suddenly uh, shots rang out and when it was all over he had shot 10 girls, um, most of them in the head execution style. Three were killed and um, and then seven others were taken to area hospitals with critical injuries. So this is this follows a number of school shootings really in just in the last two weeks. So we're gonna take a look at this tonight on the evening news. Obviously the t to tell the story about what happened in this Amish community, but also broaden it out to find out uh, why there's been such a spate of, sc of school shootings. As someone who covered Columbine very closely, this is a an area I'm very familiar with and very interested in as well. Um, so that's going to be our major focus tonight on the evening news. There are other stories that seem to pale by comparison actually now about Foley and the whole controversy that with Dennis Hassard up on the hill and some other things, but uh, clearly this story is, is one that, that we'll be focusing the, the lion's share of our time on tonight. So that's first look and I'm very upset about this story because I have girls who are 15 and 10 and I think about how terrifying uh, this must have been for all those children and it's so impossible to understand why someone would do this, especially someone with children of his own. So anyway, that's it. We'll see you tonight.